Hello, my lovely Sages, and a very warm welcome to your annual 2024-2025 forecast. This is a big year coming up. I mean, of course, they're all big years, but for you, it's going to be especially powerful, lovely Sages, because gradually the outer planets are moving away from the Earth and water slower frequencies to the higher frequencies and faster frequency of fire, which is you, and air. So this is a combustible frequency, and it's going to be important to be able to stay grounded, centered, and calm amidst many exciting events and possibilities that are likely to be presenting themselves. So just giving you the heads up, things are speeding up. Pluto this year will move into um, your third house um, and it's gonna stay there. It goes a little bit there and back, but not very much anymore for 20 years. More about that in a few minutes about you, but on a global level, it changes things moving away from this vertical uh, rulership where the few own most moving towards where there's more justice that everybody has a share of the pie and that we're thinking more of one another and we're going to find that technology speeds up i mean we already can see that it's moving fast but you're going to see an exponential shift in technological innovation in healing in anything to do with rays and vibrational healing and everything to do with the space in between material objects. Science is going to just rocket into new realms. So I'm going to suggest, and luckily you are probably the best sign for expanding the mind, expanding the consciousness, because there will be many, many opportunities for you to do that on a personal level, and for us to activate that all for one another on a global level and lift us more out of the suffering and the pain that is still so prevalent on our planet. Big stuff, eh? Uh, Mars will go retrograde towards the end of the year, giving you a nice opportunity at the end of the year to integrate all the changes that are likely to take place. Jupiter, your ruler, of course, will change sign. It's going to go into your relationship area in May. More about that soon. All the Mercury retrogrades are in fire signs, and one of them will be in your sign. This activates the possibility of going inside and connecting with the divine higher mind, that spark of intelligence that's beyond anything that you can understand with the little mind. So it's... Uh, there's lots of wonderful potentials coming up. So January 21st, Pluto moving into your third house. It will briefly go back to your second house during September, November time, but largely you can say it's in the third house until about 2044. It's particularly significant when it first goes in because that's when you sort of notice there's a change in energy, a shift in your thinking. And this has Pluto is going to do, has everything to do with power of your mind. The discovery of the immense and unlimited power at your disposal of the mental frequency. And if you will focus on this, and you're going to be digging, yeah, you're going to be learning, studying, sharing, maybe writing, maybe teaching, coaching, mentoring, counseling, whoa! networking there's there's a lot there and you're going to unleash potentially ideas out into the world that can be life-changing for millions this is how powerful this is so if you're ready to work on your mental energy and not to just regurgitate somebody else's stuff and apparently studies have been done and said they say that over 90% of our thoughts that we think every day are just simply the same thoughts that we thought yesterday. So this is about developing 
the power of your mental frequency. So this can be a very, very exciting journey. Uh, the main thing is not to get off into too much of the headspace and not stay in the physical body, because you've still got to stay in a physical body while we're here on Earth. So it's about learning the balance between the two. But this is it's amazingly powerful. You may become involved with some new technology, some new transportation, some new things to do with energy, some new things to do with health and healing and well-being. Whatever interests you, go more deeply into it and you're going to find some nuggets of wisdom. Mars, uh, no, not yet Mars. Then the eclipses, March and April, we've got the eclipses. So the first eclipse is in Libra, which is on March the 25th. And on April the 8th, we've got a solar eclipse in Aries. So these are affecting your 5th and 11th houses, my lovely uh, Sagis. So eclipse energy lasts for up to six months. And the 5th and 11th houses, this has to do with new creative spurts, the potential for new romance, for new love in your life, a new business, a new idea, something you've been working with for a while, you suddenly say, yep, I'm moving, I'm going. You might be doing something with children, with young people, or simply activating the divine child within you. This suggests a widening of your social circle, a widening of your connections. And that can again be done mentally as well as physically and practically. You may find yourself involved with collaborations, with working with others, with cooperations can be very, very exciting. And then the next set of eclipses, we've got a lunar eclipse, September the 18th, which will be here in your fourth house. And then the final eclipse on October the 2nd will again be this 11th house. So a lunar and a solar eclipse, a big focus on the 11th house. This one here in the fourth may have you making some changes in your home, your family situation. There may be something coming to completion, fruition, um, and, and just some important changes in your environment. And here again, a solar eclipse happening, um, new social connections, new networks, and new ways of working together with other people and bringing out your unique gifts and contributing them to the whole. May the 25th, your ruler, lovely Sag, is coming into your relationship area where it will stay until June 9th of 2025. So just over a year, the relationships are in focus from May onwards, lovely Sag. This can bring a marriage. It can bring new relationships, new business, as well as a new intimate relationship. It brings learning, growth, expansion potentially good fortune if you are learning the lessons that are being presented to you in relationships. And it's just an opportunity really uh, to welcome different kinds of people into your world. You love that anyway, Satchis. You love to meet different people to yourself. And you may just be attracting more of them to you this year. Then December the 6th, we've got this Mars retro happening. It'll be retro until February of 2025. Everybody will experience it for you in the 9th. You might be returning to somebody that, where you've been before. Um, you may, somebody from your past coming back into your life. And just an opportunity to integrate the spiritual journey of all the things that you've experienced all the excitements because there's a lot of excitement and possibility in the air so let's see what your pleiadian oracle card is for this coming year my lovely sages okay your card is listen carefully Whenever you think of the word listen, it makes you slow down, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit like a dog pricking his ears up. He's listening. 
So, as I said at the beginning, it's going to be important to know how to slow down and stop because the activity technologically, transportationally, informationally, in every way is going to be high volume, high speed, and you're going to need to listen carefully to your inner voice as to when you need time out, solitude, in order to recharge and recalibrate what is important to you. Because there's going to be so many exciting things, it might be difficult to choose. And by going inside, you'll tune into your intuition, which will be your best guide. I'd love to know whether you find these videos valuable. I read all your comments, so please give me feedback. There are a lot of joyful work, and I'd just like to know that they're contributing to your world in some way. Much love. Bye for now.